Welcome back to this course. Today I'm going to show you how to install different plugins in QGIS software. For this, please open your QGIS software. Here is uh, my interface and the project that I have opened is also seen here on the top of the menu. And basically, in order to load more plugins in QGIS, we will have to work with the menu bar, which is called plugins. What is QGIS plugins? Well, basically, the whole power of uh, JS analysis in QGIS is powered to to great extent by the QGIS plugins. QGIS plugins are developed by a community, by QGIS community, and basically could be assessed, uh, accessed via plugins repository, which is uh, found here on the top uh, of the menu of QGIS. In order to install plugin, you have to go to a menu called manage and install plugins. Here the such window will open where your dialog window where you can see the installed already plugins. In my case, it's only one semi-automatic classification plugin and uh, non-install uh, plugins. Basically, uh, the number of the plugins available differs from QGIS version to QGIS version. So uh, the versions of QGIS that are older or usually have more QGIS plugins and the newer released and uh, 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 experimental released usually have less uh, available plugins. This is because the QGIS plugins are developed by a community, by the developers and should usually be updated when the QGIS is transferred to a new version, which is of course ex extra work for the developers and not always is the case. What could be the solution for this? Well, the solution is to keep different versions of QGIS on your computer, which is also a beautiful uh, thing about QGIS. You can have uh, several versions of QGIS software installed on your computer simultaneously. Basically, now I'm going to show you how to install some of these plugins. Let's uh, see basically um, what we have here. Maybe let's find something interesting. Hmm. Well, for example, plugin which is called Sentinel-2 download. Sentinel uh, is a satellite uh, satellite by European Commission, which is a, a part of the Copernicus program of European Union, which delivers optical uh, data um, with a, a high special and temporal resolution. And you can also, by installing this uh, plugin, load it, download it directly to your QGIS um, uh, software. Well, uh, here what is interesting to see is that each plugin has uh, its uh, uh, title, short description, it sometimes give you also uh, several um, informations about for what you can use this plugin. Then you have uh, votes, ratings that you can also rate by yourself. Basically here it's uh, only five ratings, you see not so many uh, um, people have downloaded, it's only 1000, which is basically not that much. And also uh, here you have uh, their author uh, who has uh, developed this plugin. In order to install the plugin, you have to click install and installation uh, process uh, will, uh, will start. Later on, you can also uninstall plugin. Here is uh, the button. Okay. Um, we can also, for example, uh, try with another plugin, Sentinel Hub plugin, which uh, enables users to harness power of Sentinel Hub services uh, directly from QGIS. Again, we have a small description uh, section, very good uh, so far ratings, not much of them, not many of them, only 41, but you see people uh, leave excellent feedback and you have a number of uh, downloads. So you basically click install. And here you go, the uh, installed um, uh, plugins are now available in the installed um, pan of this um, dialog window. Here you can also uh, basically use this window to uh, manage your plugins. You can, uh, for example, uh, some of these plugins uh, um, um, 
activate or deactivate. Um, for example, um, we have recently installed Sentinel Hub, the plugin. I can um, click and then click it, and you can see when I uh, here there's this plugin. When I I I, I unselect it, then it disappears uh, from uh, my uh, menu toolbar. Well, semi-automatic uh, classification plugin is very important plugin, guys, and I uh, encourage you to. Uh, install it. I have installed it here in my uh, QGIS version and I have it uh, almost on every my uh, QGIS software versions. And why it is important? It's because, let me click on it, it uh, allows for the supervised classification of remote sensing images, providing tools for the download, the pre-processing and post-processing of images. This is very handy plugin. And we also can use it for image classifications and uh, which allows us uh, in a quite straightforward manner to produce land use and cover maps. This is how this uh, plugin looks like. Uh, you can again uh, move it around your interface, make it larger, smaller, uh, explore the plugin and uh, you can also either uh, pin it to any place in your um, QGIS display or you can also just close it and, and activate again when you need it. For this you can go to uh, panels and um, choose SCP uh, doc which uh, would allow you to see again the, the plugin, semi-automatic classification plugin. Well, uh, what I would like to recommend to you is that now you uh, customize your QGIS software, you install several um, plugins, uh, well, the ones that I have recommended to you in the document, but also you can uh, basically just um, explore by yourself, click around, see what you would find, which could be interesting for you plugin. For example, the one plugin which I was uh, talking um, uh, about in the uh, installation guide is uh, x y to point plugin which you can also install well just have a look at what is available explore and um, try to install and install several plugins that you just get a feeling how it is done